60 kilometers east of Palembang. Our guide is a mustache, but beneath it, the jovial agronomist Professor Bang Bang Saharjo, the expert on forest fires. He was appointed by the Environment Ministry to investigate APP plantations. So it's like an adventure. Yes, an adventure. You should enjoy. <laughs> but be warned, yeah. it's a real adventure, but not exactly the one we'd planned on. And uh, it seemed that uh, big rain last night. Yeah, yeah February. Yeah. The Indonesian rains, boy, are they heavy, are more effective than all the firemen in the world. In December 2015, they finally snuffed out the Indonesian brazier. But five months later, they would pour down on our hopes of an expedition. After slip sliding non-stop for three hours, we failed at 15 kilometers from our goal. Talk about getting bogged down. You can say that again. There's no way through. Impossible to visit the burned down plantations. We'll have to take solace in a cafe. Lemonades all round and a private tutorial with the professor. He and his colleague already went into the heart of the furnace. It's taken from but it's burning everywhere. Yes. How can it burn so easily? Kenapa dia bisa cepat terbakar? Karena pertama kondisinya sangat kering, ya, sehingga bahan bakar menjadi sensitif udah untuk terbakar. Jadi basah si gambutnya, jadi nggak nggak mudah terbakar dia. Kenapa dia terbakar? Karena tadi water managementnya tidak dia sistem zoningnya dibikin itu supaya tidak terbakar. Jadi nggak lakukan itu. Let's pause. Now we have to explain something to you. Having once raised the tropical forest, APP replanted with acacias. They grow fast and their wood makes good paper. But there's a problem. The soil is peat, a layer several meters thick, 10% organic matter, 90% water, the result of several thousand years of decomposing forest. Peat, being extremely damp, doesn't suit acacias. So the company dried it by digging ditches and draining off the water. The result, the acacias started growing, but the soil became extremely inflammable. So that's how the APP plantations became open air powder kegs. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We did the math. In one decade on the island of Sumatra, 17,620 fires have been recorded in the paper and packaging giants' plantations. With a record like that, what is APP doing? According to our eminent professor, not very much. Nah, dan pasukan pemadam itu hanya enam orang, fire brigades. Kemudian ini three wheel vehicles, jadi kendaraan roda tinggi itu hanya satu. Ya, sementara luasnya itu adalah 28 hektar. Only, only this. To, to extinguish the yes, fire. Yes, yes, only this. For 28,000 hectares. Mm -hmm. Peralatannya tidak ada menara, tidak ada menara api. Bagaimana mereka mengatakan sustain? Nah, itu saja sudah mengindikasikan menunjukkan bahwa tadi dia tidak mau belajar dari masa lalu. Ini adalah bekas terbakar. Ya. With the environment minister, Professor Saharjo has filed a lawsuit against APP. It has to be said. The smoke produced by the fires has been disastrous for the people of the region. Harvard University researchers analyzed the impact of the noxious dust inhaled by the population during the hell of 2015. It's just an estimate, but here are, according to them, the number of premature deaths that may be caused by the smoke. In the Indonesian archipelago, 91,600. 
in neighboring countries, 6,500 in Malaysia, and 2,200 in Singapore. A total of 100,300 lives may be lost due to the toxic clouds, a health disaster which has already started. We crisscross the streets of Palembang on a scooter. This is the hell people went through six months earlier, barely five meters visibility. Air saturated with toxic particles. A dozen times the maximum health threshold was broken. A state of emergency was declared on half of Sumatra. In Lima Ulu, a poor district of Palembang, we're meeting Pita from Friends of the Earth. In the fall of 2015, to cope with the influx of sick people, the young volunteer and her NGO had to set up an emergency medical center. Among the children, some were hospitalized for a month. All of you? Thanks to PETA's NGO, all the children in this neighborhood survived. Others weren't so lucky. Officially, the toxic cloud killed only 11 people on the island of Sumatra. The youngest was a newborn. In Palembang, we meet Mursida and her two-year-old son, Mohammed. Hussein, her other son, stopped breathing aged just 25 days. Hussein? Is that the only picture you got of Hussein? The newborn died during the fires after 48 hours of agony. And yet, after giving birth, the young woman sought refuge in a better isolated concrete house. For the death of her son, the government paid Mercida compensation of 1,000 euros, eight months at the minimum wage. That's it. Eleven deaths, three hundred and fifty three thousand patients with severe lung infections. The island of Sumatra has paid heavily for the fires. Time to question APP. To do so, we must fly to another island. This time, nothing can prevent us from filming the 3,000 square kilometers of the multinational scorched plantations out of the window.
After a 50-minute flight, we descend towards the capital, Jakarta. In the heart of the business district is the headquarters of Sinar Mass, APP's parent company. But we're held up at reception. Despite our repeated requests, the group categorically refuses to give us an interview. Thank you, bye-bye. A while later, we received a reply, at distance, with this letter. In 2015, the forest fires were particularly dramatic due to the extreme climatic conditions linked to the aggravation of the phenomenon known as El Nino. It was not the fault of APP, but of the weather and global warming. Okay, fine. And the extensive exploitation of the peatlands? APP backs national efforts to protect and restore the peatlands. There you go. That's it. Not a word on those who died or fell sick due to the cloud of Sumatra. But the Indonesian Court of Appeal has adjudicated. Thanks to Professor Saharjo's investigation, the multinational has just been ordered to pay out around 5 million euros in damages for environmental destruction. <laughs>